Hello Gothic friends, Razvin is my name, welcome to the worst let's play of the world, Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. As usual, we are going to stare at the puzzle barrier. Last time we did finish Homer's quest, killing the lurker. We got some money, no, not anymore, we bought some stuff with it or... We did something with the money, oh we gave it to... To Lares, to be able to join the, the guys. Okay, the sound again. Have to check if it's fixable this time. The music is just so loud. Seems to be better. So we are going to go down and distribute the water. And then we have to get a quest from the guy that teaches us more strength. Then we will visit the mine. The mine can be quite scary. We are going to have to go around, maybe we can trick the guys and not distribute the water again because we are quite tired to do that, you know. Water, water, water. What's his name? I forgot. Alright, Horatio. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? Yes, I want to be able to take on the Rice Lord and his thugs. Extra five free strength, perfect. I will defeat the Rice Lord and his thugs if you help me. Good. I've sworn I'll never attack anyone again, but I never said I wouldn't teach anyone else to do it. I'm all ears. If you want to hit powerfully, you need to know the right tactics. That's the first thing you learn as a smith. Learn to push your whole arm through, from the shoulder down to the wrist. The better you get at that, the more powerful the blow. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Thanks for your help. Use your knowledge for a just cause and for nothing else. All the causes are just. I believe we learned it. Didn't pay attention. I didn't see. Normally, you cannot learn more than what we already have. I mean, if you have 100 strength, you will not learn the extra 5. You will not end 105. You will still be 100. If you have 95, you will get to 100. If you have 96, you will be to 100. So you will not surpass the 100 maximum with this trick. So. Let's see, Rice Lord. We can get his water for some money, right? Oh yeah. What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Okay. Thank you. If we attack him, I believe everyone will attack us. Let's see if we can do anything with Lefty. Hey, you. Not with a tug. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. Lefty, okay, yes. From now on, you can carry the water yourself. Oh, have you got better plans? Are you planning to attack me? I think I'll have to remind you who's the Smart boss. Ass. I'll take you apart. Uh, you know, let's see how good they are. The fight's been decided. Oh, we got both of the them. Right decision. Yeah, that's the the effect of having so much strength. We have to be the rice lord also. Come on, put hey, that you. thing away. You've been lucky there. You won't have much Come time. On, hey, put that thing away. Yeah, there is a problem with the fighting. The right decision. Yeah, my problem is I have the put the weapon hey, away. You. Put it away. The attack with the same button as talking. Hey you. Yep. Lucky for you. I would have enjoyed polishing your baby. I doubt it's ever Nobody beats up fight. anybody else around here except me. Oh, young okay. men were tough. I don't know if we have to kill the Rice Lord. We have to change the the talking with the people, sadly. We have to put it back on E. Where is the interact, okay? So we cannot beat the guy yet, I believe. Do we have to beat the Rice Lord? We have to check. But we could polish his... Oh, even stronger weapon. We could polish his face also. Nice bow. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Lefty, what do you have to say now? How are you, my friend? Oh man, what do you want? 
The peasants look thirsty. I'll see to it. Don't worry. There must be something about Is the quest over now? Tasks. Reach the peasant, yes. I don't know if we have to... to buy the rice. He's damaged somehow. Someone beat him. We are going to try again. Okay, the thug. We have to be the two guys again. Nope. Only this guy. The right decision. And now the rice lord. Put the weapon away. You're Let's see how good they are. The fight's been decided. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. The right decision. Did we get the ring? Maximum you life. Okay. Much time to be sorry for it. Yeah, you are thugs. You deserve it. Don't put hey, me to you. carry water for you. You'll be sorry for that. We still have the quest with Lefty. Send me. Yeah, he doesn't mind. Is the one hand, the two-handed weapon better? No, the same. Okay, you guys do your business. Do not put me to do your dirty jobs anymore. So we can use the shark. Mm. There are some monsters that we have to kill. So let's go to the old mine and see how that is going to look. Probably quite dark. How late is it? 12 o'clock. It's not so late. There is also a thing now we can beat every NPC here, get their weapons, they don't mind, get a lot of money and... Actually, actually we have to sell some things to the guy. Damn it, I forgot. Because we have to learn to take the lizard skins. We can still enjoy it. Well, and after that we are going to go there, kill the scavengers. I'm not going to go the long route, because there are no enemies left. We could make what are you we, ha we are going to hold on this. With this, you can have this. Yeah, the bows, we are going to keep them. This is very needed later on. Razor, all red crease. Uh, I wish there was being able to, that we would be able to use those for some things. So we got enough money. Yeah, let's sell everything. We are getting a lot of money. This looks very good now. So, let's go kill the scavengers. Normally, if you have absolutely no experience with graphic ones, you do not want to learn to take stuff from animals. But I do want to enjoy every aspect of graphic one because it's very easy, the game. The beginning is very hard if you don't know what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to fight. But once you get a hold of it, then it's going to be easy peasy. The blood flies we are going to ignore for the time being. Look how beautiful this looks. Yeah, we are one-shotting them now. There is a cave here. Yeah, I like that the caves are a bit hidden now. But sadly they are so empty. So we could go and learn the skinning animals. Or we could go directly to the mine. Yeah, we will go directly to the mine on our way back. We can go there. And there is also cavalry. 
sneaking is not needed, but lock picking could be good. Because we have to learn something, so probably we will not go into the mine yet. But we shall see. Yeah, the the stun lock. That guy sneaking off. Hey you. Okay. Come on, put that thing away. A fight! Clear winner, I'd say. That was bad. We didn't save. Come on, put your ass in fight. Is that enough? You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Damn it. Luckily we Oh, we can take it, everything. We don't have to give him. We have to you sell to him. Time to be sorry for it. So we are not as, as strong as we thought. Damn it. You'll be sorry, sorry for the... Not saving. So that's why you have to save in the gothic. We couldn't. What have you got to... Your stuff. Did he forget to take his weapon? No, we have the one from from Lefty. So once again, we go back there. Saving is so important in Gothic. The Goblin can still deal a lot of damage. We have some health. We can one-shot them. It's only the, the problem is the controls not used to it. I'm so used to the gothic controls, the older ones. But if we level up, we could actually learn the sneaking. Then we will go to the old mine. Yeah, made my mind. Once we are done with that, because we do, we do not want, want to kill anything in there yet. Once we go to the old camp, we have to fight a... In the arena the thing is they are going to be able to kick our ass quite easily but we can kick their asses also because we deal a lot of damage so my plan was because we deal aoe we can just one shot so close We only need a good hit. Finally. Lurkers are there. We have to save the lurkers and see if we can pick their stuff up. Now time to heal. We also have to get the items. The food for the guy in the new mine. And see if we get rewarded for it. Yeah, they barely deal any damage to us now. We still have the necklace to give it back. But we do we do give the necklace back once we manage to fight with the people in the arena. Very important. Another scavenger is he alone? Probably not, because scavengers are usually not alone. So, let's walk. We need to learn a thief skill, and I'm still not sure what to learn. I'm going to learn the lockpicking one, because that's the one that we need. Pickpocketing, I don't think it exists in this version, or... No clue how to do it. For pickpocket you need sneaking also, so... Totally not worth it. Wish they, they implemented here more... Generic monster, not monsters, but NPCs, because it looks so empty and so dead. Like nobody's guarding it or what? Can we... It's too far away. Pickaxe required. Hmm, we'll have to check if they implemented it. Oh, so dark. Luckily we have a... We have a torch. So 
so we have some people here to talk with we do not have to do everything here because we have to come back anyway but we will talk with the npcs we get them out of the way hey glenn you. my friend what should i keep in mind when i'm in the mine beware of the mine crawlers the further you get down the closer you get to the beasts those rotten creatures come directly from Beliar's realm. You can hear them scraping and scratching. They're sitting in the dark just waiting for you. I've seen them kill. They're merciless and fast. If you enjoy being alive, you shouldn't be down here. You better go before something happens to you. Thank you for taking care of us. You are just a guard. Yeah, it's so dark, but it's normal. There is no sun. There are only the torches. They don't have lights. Can you tell me anything about the mine? Well, this part we're standing in now is the main shaft. A system of catwalks takes you down to the bottom. And they're digging for ore everywhere. But you need to be careful. There are many mine crawlers there as well. Right at the bottom is the smelting place. We're smelting a part of the ore to use it right there. What do I need to look out for in the mine? Mine crawlers, mainly. Dangerous beasts. We've had to give up a few caves because of them. They've eaten quite a few diggers, too. Tell me about the crawlers. Oh, but my tongue's so dry. You, bring you little me bastard. And I'll tell you something about the crawlers. Here, drink to my health. Thanks. Well, crawlers live in large packs, mostly in the side caves. They've never attacked us here in the main shaft yet. If you ever meet one of them, run. Or stand with your back to the wall. That way you may stand a chance. Tell me more about it. If you want to know more, go to Viper. He's the smelter. Or talk to Ian. He's the boss. He organizes everything here in the mine. Where can I find Ian? He's right in the middle of the main shaft, next to the storeroom. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget him. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. Understood? See you. Uh, yes, sir. So there are some chests, but we cannot pick them now. Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. What I don't have is no use to you anyway. Wow, aren't you mean? So we have some things we can sell to you. Yeah, I, I really don't like the, the trading here that they don't have the money as they used to. I mean limited ore nuggets. What are you Templars doing in the mine? We're hunting for mine crawlers. He has tattoos, nice, on his arm. Why do you hunt the crawlers? For their mandibles. They contain a valuable secretion. What kind of secretion? A poison. Only our guru Kor Kalam knows how to brew potions with it. Who is Kor Kalam? We will learn about him. The most powerful men in the whole brotherhood. He knows many secrets. He can control other people's thoughts. Apart from that, he's an alchemist. He brews potions so we can make spiritual contact with the sleeper. Just go down to the camp. We're always looking for people. I'll think about it. How can I remove the mandibles from the mind crawlers? It's not that easy to do that. I can teach you. Can you teach me how to remove the mandibles? First, you need to cut deep into the flesh. Be careful not to hit the mandible gland. If you do, the secretion will squirt out. That must be quite painful. You bet. Did you ever meet Korger Three Fingers, the crawler hunter? Oh no, that was before you arrived. Well, let's go on. Cut around the glands, leaving a wide gap. Then remove the flesh together with the mandible. If you stick to that, you won't have any problems removing the mandibles. See you later. May the sleeper awaken. Did we actually learn it? Mandibles, okay. And it didn't cost us anything. Normally we learn that from some core Templars. 
not simple temples normally, or I never knew about that. So we have to get the scales, the shells and the stings. So dark, we have to remember we cannot fall here from short distance, we take a lot of damage. Lots of hell mushrooms. There is alchemy, I'm really curious if they implemented it. We had an alchemy lab, but we couldn't use it because someone else was using it. I don't know who, ha who else has it. Cor Colum has one. Oh, there are some bandits that have it also near the new camp entrance. Lots and lots of items. Oh, that's where the guard was there. Something is here, but we will have to come here anyway. Yep. We will come back later here. So empty on this level. Okay, we took no damage. Ladder, okay. Snipes, who are you sniping here? How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. Easy quest? Yeah, sure. So, are you Aaron? Just go away, I need the ten ore. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. There are gangsters in the mine, what the hell? Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. You think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. Yeah, you are very gullible. Just like me. They trick us a lot also, so no worries about it. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. So you're just a little lucky, a little jester, my friend. Good business. Yep. Lots of ore nuggets. I wish they were able to talk while sitting like before. So now we have to go further down, right? Here is nothing else. It's so dark in here. The flame doesn't look as great, I have to admit. This one looks one looks very oh, also ours. Only when moving it's not looking right. Okay, what's that? Nice, nice, nice. Look how much damage we took. That's what I said. Falling down takes a lot of damage. But we are going to learn. Ulbert, what do you have for us? What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. None of my business. Oh, I just noticed our hero looks a bit better with a torch in the hand. Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. We just got that spear from the other guy. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chests that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? 
I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Okay, let's visit Aleph. Oh, there is a nice addition now. We cannot fall down from the ladder. We don't, don't have to press anything. Sorry for the hiccup. The only problem is if we want to fall down fast and escape the monsters or something, but once we can do that, we are going to be strong enough or way too strong for it. Is it on the next level? Yeah, the next level is Alep. We have to heal ourselves before something else happens. What's this? Bread? We also need bread for the other guy. Oh, but nice, he puts the the torch away. In Gothic 2 he eats with the torch in his hand, burning all his face. So let's find Aleph another quest. Yeah, we will not level up in the mine. But on the way back we level up and then we will learn all the hunting skills. There are not a lot of them. Then we can enjoy collecting everything that the monsters have. So, we have a guard here, hey, you. Brandic, named NPC, has nothing to tell us. And you actually have to look at the items right on them. Another torch, here is also one, right? Yes, it is. Let's go, hey, Aleph. You. you have a key for us, I heard. <laughs> the guards will never get me. Why would you tell me that? What do you mean? I only work when the guards are nearby, or they can see me. Otherwise, I just hang around here. Don't they get suspicious? Yeah, well, of course I dig less ore than all the others do. It's not always enough, so I have to do a bit of trading. I keep my ears open. So I get to know many useful things. You don't happen to have some ore on you. Let's say about ten ore. Oh yes, we have ten ore. All right, here's ten ore for you. Thanks. If you go to the main shaft and follow the catwalks further down, you'll soon get to two side caves. There's a guard in the second one, and there's also an old masher. There's a healing potion lying about somewhere. But be careful. And beware of the crawlers. And if you need or hear something, come back to me. I'm sure I'll be able to help. Have you got any other useful information? Sure. Have you got ten ore? I expect good. How much ore can we give to the guy? There's loads of locked chests here. Glenn, the digger at the top, can get you a couple of lock picks. Oh, okay. That was good you know information. You the key for the chest in the storage shed. Well, that depends. On how much ore I'll give you? You learn fast. Is 15 ore all right with you? 15 ore? Uh, I don't know anything about a key. 30 ore should be enough. All right. I happen to have the key here. Good luck. Well, you know where to find me. So we can actually tell the guard about him. But we are not going to gain anything from that, right? Complain about Aleph? Nah. We are no rats. She gave us good information. The one with the Glen up top wouldn't be activated unless talk with him and the chest the key to the chest also. So we did good business. And the way we ended the conversation with him would be that we can use his help later on. So the second time when we visit the mine, maybe we will talk to him and see what he has to tell us. Remember to not fall down from big distances. Or we are going to be hurt like a lot. We also have to learn acrobatics, one hand. Oh, there is a lot of stuff to learn. Because sooner or later we'll have to learn... I know about two-handed. 
pr probably will just go with one-handed and then magic and when we have spare learning points then we will learn the magic or the two-handed for the end game listen Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom having grilled meat what without me well I'll collect my share you guys are bad cards you are so gullible we need the bread and ham for the guy Ooh, 203 or oh, that's a lot and we have a quest what's the task for that guy with a Balorus, okay that's what we need we need five apples checked Two bottles of rice schnapps. Oh, we have more than enough. Five bottles of beer and three loaves of bread. Five bottles of beer, three loaves of bread. Okay. What about the last one? Two pieces of cheese and two bunches of grapes. Oh, we have to buy the grapes from somewhere. Two pieces of cheese. Only one. Okay. Cheese and grapes. We can manage that. Digger. Oh. A new face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Boy, never. Have you been here long? I've already been here ten years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive in the old times. When we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy, I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next 10 years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> Who knows? You'll work your way up. But no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. Good luck. Same to you, boy. Same to you. You lost your hope, my friend, sadly. Don't beat us. Hey you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. But I'll give you 20 ore if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 ore like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. More experience and ore nuggets. Hey you, there was no grilled meat at all. Oh, um, I guess I must Are you crazy? Look behind you, dude. They have a whole scavenger there. Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Hmm? Huh? What the hell? Okay. Hey you! Can I trick? Yep. Yeah, sadly there is no need for a lot of merchants now. Ian, with you I want to talk. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian, and this is my mine, so don't touch or break anything. Sounds good. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the gang. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. 
Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. Okay. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft. And leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time, they're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right, here's the list. Tell them to hurry up with the deliveries. Okay, we got the list. So with the list, we can go to the new camp or the old camp. But as I said, I want to go to the old camp first. There is nothing there for us now. Just a couple NPCs that we talk to, but nothing will be gained out of it. So there is no reason to make that huge of a trip there. We will go there anyway quite soon. So we finished. We came what we, we needed here for. We are going to get out of the mine. Then we will go and learn the... We will go to the Aidan, then to Cavalorn, then to the old camp. We will not deal anything. We will not do anything there, right? Except maybe give the list for extra NP uh, extra XP. And then we will go to the new camp. Not the new camp, sorry. The, the sect camp. To the loonies, as they say. After we finish all the quests there, we will then decide what to join. We can also clear more monsters and stuff, but I prefer to do it once we, we join a faction. Because we will get more armor, we will be stronger. And once we come to the new camp, we have to go to the guys, to the new mine, finish that quest also. I want to get it out of the way. But we need to find two grapes, someone has to sell us grapes. Oh, so nice, the sun is up. Do the old camp has the, the grapes? Or the new camp guys sell it? Oh, we could check it. But there is no reason to go there yet, right? There is only one quest, so... Maybe I'll just do it off screen. I don't know, we shall see. But I guess we are going to end the episode here. We are going to go to Aiden, learn the skills. Yeah, we are about to level up. And then to Cavalorn. So thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.